welcome you all this morning for a great event. We're, uh, it's exciting. We've been doing this now uh, several times, and it just gets better. Uh, and so I'll start off with, uh, you know, if anyone's interested, we would glad to keep doing this. Uh, so um, we'd be welcome to do more and more. But this morning, uh, as we're uh, First event at the Gina Santori Library, Gina Richard Gina Santori Library. We're here to accept a great gift uh, from a great foundation uh, set up by someone who has long uh, given, uh, significantly given to uh, the community. I want to start out with some introductions of some folks that are here. Uh, first, I want to start off with the Library Foundation board members. And so if you'll raise your hands as I, I call you out, I think I got everyone. Uh, Joe, Joe's over there, and Reed, and Kelly, and Lane is somewhere. Um, Lane's over there, so, oh, and Dee, oh, Dee, sorry. Yes. Uh, so that is some of our, our foundation board members that will make it this morning. Uh, from the library board, we have Stuart Beach, John Savage, Dick Hawks, Archie Needham, Marie Lozano, and Jeff Butler, who's up here in front. Um, we also have state representatives Linda Chapelavia and Stephanie Kifowitz, and of course the Honorable Mayor Weiser, who I didn't recognize at first, um, given his, his incredible work. So, um, I'll also I'd like to introduce the Dunn Fund advisors, uh, Mark Trumper, Stuart Beach, Whitney Hirsch, Ryan Manley, Michael Corcos, uh, Christine Tunney, and uh, Robert Cohen, Executive Director. We're here today to announce the uh, grant from uh, to a uh, library foundation from the Dunham Fund. Let's start to talk a little bit about the Dunham Fund. It was founded by John Dunham. Uh, it was created and said that the fund should make the world a more comfortable, safer place for mankind to live and prosper through wise gifting. In 1931, Mr. John began working at Crypto, a company his father founded in 1907. He worked his way up from sleeping, sleeping the floors to retiring as chairman in 1984. Mr. John was greatly respected for his commitment in enterprise and education. Through his many noteworthy contributions, he inspired students and achieved excellence in an array of facets including character, work ethic, and giving back to the community. Uh, because we're a library, we have people do these research things, and uh, they are able to put in some notes for me that uh, Dunn Fund has given 150 gifts, 150 grants, and since 2007 to a large number of outstanding organizations throughout the community, and that is translated into $20 million uh, given uh, and awarded. Um, so, and there's a website you can go and check uh, for more of that. So, uh, you can see we are privileged to announce that soon it will be very, to be very beautiful two story atrium that we're standing right in today. Okay, not quite. It um, will be the, the John, the, over there, the, that will be named the John Dunham uh, Atrium. I will now turn this over to uh, Jeff Butler, who is the Vice President of the Library Board. 